Hello, everyone, and welcome to your daily reading for Thursday, June 20th, 2019. I hope you're all doing well. I know the energies are really intense. Um, that Mars conjunct Mercury opposing Pluto can really get us in our feels, in our psyche, asking us to go deep into our our probably our inner wounds, uh, causing a lot of frustration and anger for some of you. So let's get to it and see what the energies are for today. And like I always say, time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So this might have already happened and or it will happen in the next few hours or days or weeks to come. Let's begin with that first card, the tarot card called Karma. Karma here in this deck is speaking of karma, destiny. So basically, the results of your actions. So taking a look at what actions you've taken in the last few months, years. Were they for your greater good? Were they for everyone's greater good? So karma is a real thing. What goes around comes around, as they say. So you will be dealing with situations that involve your karmic lessons. So whatever you put out there, will be coming back to you, whether that's good or bad. It's going to be different for everybody. So it's this sense of renewal. It's this call to action. Now you reap what you sow, basically. The emperor is also a little bit of a hard energy too, because the emperor makes sure that everything's in order, right? He's the emperor of his empire. He's the ruler of his empire. He makes sure that everyone's well protected, uh, he goes to war when it's time to go to war. Um, he's controlling. He can be stubborn. So is this you trying to control the situation? Or maybe you're dealing with someone who's very controlling and who's not allowing you to move forward. This can be a father. This can be a, a boss. This can be anybody in your life who is really stuck in their ways. You know, look at him. He's not moving. He's just... He's just waiting, he's looking, and he's protecting. So what is it that came about from this karma, from all the actions that you have taken? What is it about that's now coming to the surface? With that sun card here, it's revealing truth. It's revealing secrets. You know, Pluto is in retrograde, and it's opposing that Mercury and Mars. So information, truths secrets will come to the surface with this energy and this this these are three major arcana so these are major phases we cannot mess around with this type of energy it's going to be different for everybody so all of this from what i see here is going to lead to some type of betrayal disappointment ending the ending of a cycle but a lot of you might have felt disappointed and betrayed with that ten of swords why do I say that? Because look at what we have here as oracle cards. People are going crazy at this point. People are stressed. They are pushed to come out of their comfort zones. Emotionally, it's taking a toll. So this is why we, what we see here. It requires some emotional healing. It requires us to go within and figure out what we need to heal from our past with that karma card. But look, Spirit is here to tell you you're on the right path. This, this is the path that you're meant to be on. There's always going to be lessons in, in this meat suit that we live in. Okay, so you're on the right path. Everything's okay. Yes, it's going to hurt. It's going to take some emotional healing. Take the time to ask for what you need. Ask for what you want. Because the universe is always waiting for you to ask. Okay? You are a co-creator with the universe. You are co-creating your destiny with the universe. So what is it that you need? What is it that you want? And Oracle cards, for me, this is great. I mean, it's telling you that you guys should maybe look into Oracle cards or just tune into my daily readings or monthly readings that I have on YouTube because I do give monthly readings with Oracle cards as well and dailies, as you can see. So tune in and look, this... This maybe helps you out on a daily basis to let you know that you're on the right path and it's going to take a few action steps to get there to the place you want to get to. So 
it's going to require you standing up for yourself in this situation. Like I said, it's going to be a little different for everybody. The emperor does stand up for himself. Oh, yes. So does that require you taking control of the situation? You taking control of your emotions? You taking control of whatever it is that's not causing you to feel good? You know, truths are being revealed here. There's endings. There's betrayals. There's this feeling of not not being able to feel like we can connect with others with that Ten of Swords. It's like as if we don't belong in a group, in a group of friends, in a group where we work. It's, it can be different for everybody. So I think it's going to take you to stand up for yourself, weigh your options, but don't necessarily close yourself off to people, places, and things that are for your greater good. Because here we have the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups with the Knight of Cups is saying, yeah, protect yourself, but still have faith. You know, use that support system. The people that you can connect with, whether that's online, whether that's in your family, whether that's a group of friends, whoever that may be, use that support system as backup, as a way to find other creative solutions to your problems. Because yes, I, I can see that some of you have a decision to make and you're weighing your options and you need to consider both sides. You have two coins and you're juggling and you're not sure. So to be sure, make sure that you stand up for what you believe in when you're making a decision. All right, guys. So I hope that was helpful. Today's a really gloomy day here in Montreal, Canada. So take it easy. Um, seek the support that you need with people. Don't completely close off, but do protect yourself like that Knight of uh, Cups here has his suit of armor. He protects himself, but he's still open, okay? He's still open, he's still friendly, but he's not opening up, you know, completely. He's not being extremely vulnerable, but this is a good start, okay, when you're trying to find support. So I hope you guys have a great Thursday. And please tune in to all my other videos on YouTube. I am so grateful for all your support on YouTube, guys. Subscriptions are going up and up and up. So thank you so much. Have a great Thursday.